You've made it once again. <laughs> I'm Kevin Robinson Jr. Thanks for tapping in. I'm going to do a reaction to this video. Um, I had one of y'all sent this to me in my email. Um, this is male feminist versus anti feminist. All right. This video is about an hour long. I'm not doing no fucking hour. Um, I'm probably going to jump around a little bit, but this is my perspective on it. Um, you ain't got to agree with it. I mean, that's the beauty of debate. So comment below what you agree with and what you don't agree with, but let's get into it. This is from the Jubilee channel and do me a favor if you could, um, like I said, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. We're going to get into it. Let's go. Step forward if you agree with the prompt. Women have it easier than they think they do. Mm. Mm -hmm. With feminism, it's kind of brainwashed women to think that they are victims in 99% of cases and all the disenfranchisement that they would claim in like colleges and careers. A lot of these careers are way easier to get into for women than they are for men because they're looking to hire women because of feminism. Yeah, like in divorce and stuff, they get more property, the like kids' rights, all that. Yeah. But more so, I think that from the jump, actually have it easier. Like yeah. men need to be a provider. You're taught to be tough. Oh, why are you crying? Don't be a girl. But when a girl is crying or a girl is upset or anything that happens, usually there's like a, they're a princess and they're, you know, they're given the world. Well, yeah, because with women, they're born with their value. They, they innately have value. They can create right. life and they're extremely valuable from birth. For men, right. it's not really the same way. You have to make something of yourself to be respected. Exactly. Like a pretty woman can go far just using her face. A man can't do that. A man no. can't go to a rich businessman or, or like a businesswoman and be like, I'm, I'm good looking. Let me come to your yacht. Right. A woman can. Right. Let's bring the disagreeers forward. I have a quick question. Just a second ago, you were saying that a pretty woman could go on to a rich man's yacht and that would be kind of her ticket on. Yep. Right. Okay. So did that help women vote at all being pretty? But what does I, that have I, to do I'm, with the, I'm just asking because I mean when we're talking about women's lives being better than they think they are would you rather be pretty and be able to get on a yacht or have your liberties what, what are we living in like 1950s or 2022 yeah. they already have, have the, the right, right to, to vote. vote for a long time I think something you specifically said shows to me why women don't have it easier I think it was you who said women already have their value their value is already obvious because they can have children mm -hmm. I don't want to put you in the box but there are large amounts of men Women are people that have children and then they raise the child and they be quiet. And I think that is a problem. Not at all. I think what was really evident to me when both of y'all came up and talked was how indoctrinated into the patriarchy you mm -hmm. are. Right? <laughs> okay. <sighs> this is why I jump in. I'm tired of seeing you dudes. Um, I'm tired of seeing you dudes use these buzzwords uh, to gaslight people. Patriarchy, hypermasculinity, fuck out of here. So for a lot of you dudes who like to do this, uh, play feminist role, you pandering to women claiming you're a feminist just to get some ass is corny to me. Real corny. All right? Now, you can call me a caveman. You can call me whatever the fuck. I don't really care. I'm married. I already won. But at the end of the day, quit using these terms. Patriarchy. You're a man too. Just because you're soft, you're still a man. All right? Let's get back into it. You both come up and say, as men, we have to prove something. And those expectations that you put on yourself mm -hmm. is a direct result of patriarchy and the systems that feminism is trying to dismantle. So, as, are the value, I mean, as are the values and that women have that when they were born that you're talking about, women did not create those. Right. 
Right? Brandon, those, those are God ordained. Uh, so, men and women are both equal under God and in value as human beings. In Genesis, you have a creation of both men and women. They're made in God's We're image. not about so to quote both... the Bible in like some feminist. Yeah. Hold on, but so, I mean, we well, can. We're operating in a country we... where there's a separation of church and state. You cannot use religion okay, as, as, as a motivation to make legislation. If oh. I hear one more person use religion as a reason to not give rights to people, I'm probably going to fucking explode. You didn't say People that. using their own personal ideologies Absolutely. as an excuse to implement legislation over other people's lives are simply just not okay with the fact that they can't control everything around them. Back to the prompt. I mean, I don't think that women have it easier than they think they do. And I think to just make blanket statements like women in society think they have it easy or men in society have it harder or whatever you want to say, I just think it's kind of naive. Sure, maybe some women think they have it easier, but that might not be because they're a woman. It might just be because of their own set of life challenges and, and vice versa. Yeah, but, and, I, and I agree. And one of the reasons that I am so passionately anti-feminist is because I believe that feminism pits men against women. Men and women may be equal today, but they are not mm -hmm. the same. But also, too, women are under a pressing assault today in this country. They're losing their ability to compete in sports, beauty pageants, also oh just boy. basic things like that to people that identify as women. And no one is talking about it. Feminists aren't talking about it. So now you have conservatives having to fight for women's e equality. In, in You're making spaces. some pretty blanket statements saying feminists don't care about it. And you say... What you think that all women just are against well, men. To right? Well, to answer your question, yeah. You're talking about women. Women are not all feminists. Yeah. <laughs> there are plenty of feminists who uh, are very anti-woman. You know, you saw it during in, in the political era where you have people who will attack Kayleigh McEnany and Kellyanne Conway because they aren't pro-women. They're not for the girls. So you... And, um, actually, and, we have, like, just a little bit left. Uh, I haven't heard Kevin yet. Mm -mm. Yeah, um, so when you talked about the pressures of being a man and having to provide and having to prove your value as a man, I think those are real challenges that men face. That's why like, women have it harder too, because they are also being impacted by how aggressive men feel like they need to be to be able to secure the role that they have to play in society. But the reality of today is that because of the systems that we're in, the patriarchy is negatively impacting not only women, but also men. Uh, I don't know, bro. I'm trying to be open-minded. Trying something new. Trying to be open-minded to the complete opposite of who I am. I'm not anti-feminist at all. I, no, personally not. Um, me and my wife are traditional. Y'all might call it old school, but we are. <laughs> like, I'm the breadwinner. Uh, my wife loves to cook. My wife loves to clean. It makes her feel good doing that. I know some of you feminist motherfuckers, you consider that as uh, patriarchy and all that other shit. You know, the funny thing about you feminists is you will champion the worst things for women. You'll champion women being promiscuous. You'll champion women being fucking hoes and sluts and 304s and uh, having abortions and all this shit, demonstrative shit. But you will degrade the woman who does a video on TikTok cooking and cleaning for her man, calling her a pick me. You niggas don't make sense, man. Like, y'all don't. Y'all don't make no motherfucking sense. But, uh, yeah, we're going to move around a little bit. Good point. Male feminists are in it to get laid. Mm. I can't see it. I'm excited for this one because <laughs> I don't like women sexually. So this is going to be a very interesting conversation. Um, I think that if you are a straight male... The way you view women, women subconsciously is always going to be have something to do with sex. You're right. On, on, on just a fundamental level, just in nature. Now, that might not be the whole premise, but I do think that it has something to do with it. Yeah, I think, like, th th again, the problem with these statements is, like, they're general. I think there are men out there that are predatory and are posing as feminists to get into the pants of women. E and even on a more, like, micro level, like... So I was literally just watching uh, a recent Jubilee video. And it was one about a man. He was a self-proclaimed pickup artist. And word, <laughs> this is a, almost a direct quote of what he says. He goes, 
Oh, hell yeah, I fuck with feminism. You know, I like to think I'm a feminist. I, I fuck with feminism. And I think it's kind of emblematic of like, there are men that don't understand the full gravity of how people who are real feminists feel about yeah. the situation. And they kind of see, see it as like this, like, oh, this cool, hot social issue. And if yeah. I talk about it, it puts me in the group of, of, the, of the good people. And right. I don't think it's always heinous, while there are people that are doing that. Some of it's just like s such blatant ignorance that yeah, they, right. they lack the understanding. Yeah, I think even the, the posing of the question is indicative of the truth of the matter that I think a lot of the time it is that because if you align yourself with a lot of the more traditionally toxic masculine traits and uh. you're not viewed as on team woman, then Whoa. you're not going to be in line with a lot of Western women in today's society. I have a few. I can't stand that motherfucking term. Toxic masculinity. Toxic masculine. Hyper masculine. Look, bro. If being a man is toxic, being strong, being uh being a rock for your woman, being a rock for your family, being foundational, being aggressive is toxic, I will take the crown of that shit. I can give a fuck less. My wife chose me because I'm a strong, intense male. And when I go do shit, even if I fail, I fail forward. And I continue to do it till I get to where I need to go. Feminism has made so many you do soft. Super soft. And honestly, what it really is doing it's just making the toxic masculine. It's making guys like me, guys like the guys I mentor. It's giving them a buffet of women to choose from. Because at the end of the day, a woman might say she wants a, I've heard some weird, nouveau, these new age broads saying dumb shit like, I want a more feminine man. You want that until you run into a boss, a dude that speaks and says, look, this is what it is, this is how it's going to be. Look, I'm picking you up at 8 o'clock tomorrow. What you doing tomorrow? I'm picking you up at 8 o'clock tomorrow. Wear a dress, wear heels. I'm going to wear something cool. We're going we're gonna to get something to eat. All right? Would you rather that or would you rather have, so what do you want? Whatever you want, sweetheart. Is that what you want? Most women don't want that shit. And if you get a trick nigga like that, Nine times out of ten, he's only pandering to you to get some pussy. So, that's my two cents. But let's go back to the comment. We're like friends that go to these parties and they're like, oh yeah, fuck Andrew Tate. They all watch yeah. him, but they'll be like, yeah. oh, fuck Andrew Tate, just yeah. so they can get laid yeah. because they know that's how you know a woman yeah. will feel like, oh wow, they're listening to me, or oh wow, they agree with me and right. feel a little more connected. Yeah. And I think for me, as someone who believes genuinely in the fact that men and women are equal, but I don't go around parading myself as a feminist because the only thing that I could think that justifies being a third wave feminist, being a feminist today, is you must just want to get laid because there's no reason to believe <laughs> in all of these crazy <laughs> things that go after your identity as a man, that seek mm -hmm. to strip you of your masculinity, that perpetuate mm -hmm. these terrible ideas that men are bad and evil and all of these things that you can't be a provider, like you can't be a protector, all these things. I think that that has to be the reason. Like so you have some to of us I don't identify out. with me. Uh, me personally. I don't identify with masculinity. I, I might uh, Let's show masculinity, but like I don't think feminism is taking anything away from me. But I think that's a societal I, problem, I, I, though. I, I the just, fact that masculinity itself has become a dirty word is a problem. I didn't say it's a dirty word. I'm, I'm saying it doesn't matter. Why do you choose word. not to identify with it? Wait, anymore, wait. Even because it, because when you say it, nothing in my heart feels anything. It, it's just a word. It's just a. Right. I, I don't think anything I do. Is because I'm a man. I, I I think that it's because of who I am. Uh oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Daddy. Well, <laughs> let's um, hear it. I think um, to your point, asking like, why would any man be a feminist? So I just think that we don't all view feminism the way you do. Similar to the way the Black Lives Matter movement has been moved and changed and developed in terms of the way that people identify it. The things that you speak about when you talk about third wave feminism is not what I mean when I say that I am a, a male feminist. And so, yeah, no, if, 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 if you can't understand that me wanting to make the world a more equal and level playing field for my two daughters, for my wife, for my mother and my mother-in-law and standing in front of people who want to take liberties away from them, 
That's the reason why I am a male feminist. It's a perpetuation of oppression that I'm trying to dismantle. And for me, I think we're taking this from a very heteronormative perspective, oh right? God. All my friends aren't straight women. So I'm not going to look at my non-binary or LGBT. Hetero normative. I'm not going to say shit. Go read 1984. Double speak. That's where we live now. Orwellian. This is the Orwellian time, bro. Go read 1984. Intersectionality. Hyper masculine. Heteronormative non-binary all that shit there's none of that shit makes sense none of it bullshit terms to confuse you but let's get back to it lgbtq friends and be like oh just because i can't have sex with you i'm not going to fight for your rights there is no personal gain for just well, saying that two we things should can be, be true I, I agree with you and, yeah. and i think a lot of us agree on, on what we're talking about it's just these labels are in the way of getting us to that blanket statement. one thing to build on top of too is to an extent leading men to want to take advantage of women is the very pressure put on by other men yeah. that if you're not if you're not all right so we watched it we watched it he wanted me to watch it brother emailed me say look bro i want you to react to this so i did it and this is my final thoughts <laughs> my final thought on this whole shit man is this um i'm not a feminist by no chance at all like i'm not a feminist um you know and like i said if we look at the definition of what feminism is um and like I said, I'm going to pull it up on the screen just for y'all to check it out. This is feminism right here. This is feminism. So feminism, an advocate of women's rights on the basis of equality for the sexes. A person who supports feminism re relating to or supporting feminism, advocating women's rights on the basis of equality of the sexes. So if you are a man who is fighting for the equality of the sexes, right? Equality. Now, I understand there's certain things we're not going to be equal in as men and women. That's the way the world works. Um, men have, we, they're double standards. There are, they're double standards in this world. But understand that. Men and women, we are different. Men, ladies, for you man hating ladies. That say you don't need a man you need a man you do just because whatever happened to you in your life with a man that did something real fucked up to you or a group of men did a whole bunch of fucked up shit to you now you have this i hate men shit you never hear a man say i don't need women you rip and if you do with some little bitch ass dude who don't matter you don't hear a strong man say oh you're a woman the last time I said some stupid shit like that, I was, what, 22 years old. Now, my wife has enhanced my life. Enhanced my life. A great woman is like a subwoofer or a, let's say a magnifier. A great woman can magnify all of your strengths and help you, all your weaknesses, help you through those. A terrible woman, you know, the man-hating crowd, the feminist crowd, this uh was this fourth wave fourth wave of feminism those women if you end up with one of those fellas she's gonna accent and magnify all of your faults all of them so what i suggest for you to do fellas is we all as men we gotta realize man we can get anywhere we want in the world without a woman but I was going to become successful with my wife or not, regardless. But her being in my life has enhanced my life, definitely. Ladies, you could hate men, but at the end of the day, you don't make any sense saying, I hate men, but yet you still sucking dick every weekend. You feel me? So make it make sense.
Honestly, we need each other. Men need women. Women need men. We need each other. Shut up. We gotta let this gender war shit go. This shit is stupid and juvenile. I'm tired of seeing you 40 something year old women saying dumb shit like you calling you're 40 years old and you're calling other women pick Mishas and pick me's because they actually want to get married and have a successful relationship she doesn't want to be lonely like you bitch i'm sorry like everybody don't want to be a lonely uh cat lady you know we did a whole video on that we did a whole video on the cat lady you want to be the cat lady or the wife you know what i mean but yeah that was my final thought man um if you got any other videos you want me to react to email them to me you can send them my way uh pack home buyers at gmail.com p-a-c home buyers plural at gmail.com peace and love